everybody, welcome to the Impressor channel. Tamara's husband, Adam Housley, made some interesting statements on Instagram. Apparently, he's not too happy that some Americans are not celebrating the 4th of July. Now, this is what he said on his Instagram page. Today is about Americans. I see my feeds in the disagreements and name calling in columns, and while it annoys the crap out of me, it signifies one blatant fact. Freedom. As completely crazy as things seem right now, we are free to be ridiculous. Do you see how many countries in this world that are unacceptable? Most. A massive majority. Venezuela, where socialism has ruined the country? Nope. Our biggest rivals, China and Russia? Nope. Even many European Union countries? Nope. Having said that, we must also remember that while it seems we are so divided, we are not. The massive majority of us, massive, agree on about 90% of everything, yet we allow politics, politicians, and outside sources emphasize the 10% at the most that we do not agree. We the people need to remember one big fact on this anniversary of our independence. We are one. Before you call someone a name or make a judgment, we are one. Before you eliminate a friend or end a relationship, we are one. Before you think you are different or that you are in a column that no one else understands, we are one. Now go enjoy the day and celebrate freedom. Let the positive, the 90% shine through. Hashtag the Housleys. Hashtag celebrate the 4th of July. Basically, this whole long post was about Adam being a little bit perturbed that some people are not celebrating the 4th of July, particularly African Americans. Now, most of us celebrate the holiday for good food and family time. That's it. No one's thinking about politics or political debates. Now, some people choose not to celebrate it, which I can totally understand why, because even though America was independent and free from Great Britain's rule, Black people weren't free. We were still slaves. We were still being beaten. We were still being mistreated. And even today, black people are still being mistreated and killed by police officers for no reason at all. And nothing is being done to rectify this situation. So the 4th of July is not necessarily a holiday that some black people observe. And it's really no different from the Native Americans who don't observe Thanksgiving because the colonizers killed their ancestors and stole their land. So they don't acknowledge Thanksgiving the same way some black people don't acknowledge the 4th of July. Now, I really like what this woman said on Adam's post. She said this, Adam, it is easy for me to hold a bit of prejudice because my people suffer the most systematic oppression, but I do believe inclusion is the only way to stop the spread of hatred. However, this is not my people's holiday. And Adam replied and said, it is all our holiday, past injustices and all. Chow. Anyway, somebody called Adam out and said this, another privileged white man telling the people who were and still are treated like crap in this country how they should feel, pretends to be shocked, drink your butt like, eat your hot dog, wave your flag, and shut up. And Adam replied and said, laugh out loud, people like you are the problem. Everything you just said is stereotypical and true of anything I do or have done. I guess he means not true. Enjoy your life in a whole. The rest of us are moving on. Child, let me just say this. I do like and respect Tamara Mari and her family, but Adam, I don't care for his political views. I really don't because it shows that he's tone deaf to the issues that minorities face in this country and across the world. He's pretty much the typical conservative American in this country. I don't like hearing about his views. It turns me off, especially considering the fact that he has a wife who has black ancestry and he has two mixed children. He has to be less defensive of his views and start listening to the people who are actually affected by some of the injustices in this country. This is how we make progress in this country. You can't just tell people to move on and sweep stuff under the rug like that. No, if you have not been in their shoes, you can't tell them how to walk. Anyway, this video is not intended to hate on Adam in any way because I do respect Tamara and her family, but you know, I have to call a thing a thing. But tell me what you all think about this down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.